Okay, a real quick setup video for the Fighter N5 just to show how to do a link. I've already got a video which which shows the Futura N5 and um, uh, how to set up a link, but uh, people can't seem to actually follow out how to, how to apply the same factors to the Fighter N5. So this is the Fighter N5 specific video. So we're just going to log into one. 1.200 default address. Uh, admin, admin. Don't bother with that. So the first thing you should do is uh, just reset it to factory defaults. So if you went to administration section settings management, just do load default, load the defaults, reboot the device. That's all you need to do for there. Then go to wireless settings advanced, and uh, just change it to United Kingdom. Click on apply. We'll reboot later. Won't worry about that right now. Now we're going to go to basic. Now what we're going to do is one end is going to be an AP and the other end is going to be an AP client. So we'll make this end the AP client. So AP client apply. Reboot later. Don't worry about that right now. And the other thing we're going to do is because we're going to have two of these on the network, we're just going to change the address of this one to 201. Click on apply. Now we will have to reboot, so we'll just wait for this unit to reboot. OK, nearly finished. Now we're logging back in again on the new address, 201, which is entered for us automatically in the browser. Not going to worry about that. So now we're set up, and as it says here, disconnected. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to unplug this unit and uh, plug it into a notebook on the other side of the office. And then I'm going to plug a new unit into the LAN and uh, we'll go through the configuration of that new unit. Just a second, please. OK, that's it. That's the other one connected. And um, I've now uh, uh, logged, in in, uh, logged in on its default IP address, 1.200. Uh, this one's already been set to factory default, so I'm going to go to Wireless Advanced, just like we did on the other one. Advanced, click, that's it. Uh, now we're going to change it to United Kingdom, just like we did with the other one. Going to click on Apply. Now, that's all I'm going to do to this one. I'm not going to change anything else because the default setting here is AP mode and all we're going to do is AP to client connect connection. So that's all I need to do. Now we're now going to reboot this unit. Now we'll just wait for it to reboot. OK, uh, that's that. Uh, the access point rebooted. Uh, so all we're going to do now is we have to, uh, final thing is we just have to tell the client which access point we're going to connect to. Uh, which we can do just by doing a quick uh, site survey on the client and selecting this particular access point. So I'll just intercut here with a quick video and it just shows the setup screens that you'd need to do on the client. So if you just hold on, we could just have a look at this video. OK, so uh, you see how e what we had to do to the client. Piece of doddle, nothing nothing hard there at all. And now we uh, should have a link between the two units. So to prove this, I'm just going to back on the access point end of the link and going to type in the address of that remote client, which remember we changed to 201. And bingo, we're up on 201. So obviously we do have a connection across the link. On here we have the 200 unit, which is the local one on the LAN. And here we have the client on the other end. And here you can see the client is saying it's connected. And what we could do is I've got a notebook on the other end and what I could do is just start a DOS box and just ping the notebook on the, on the other end which is 192.168.1.210. Now I see we've got a link to the notebook at the other end, no problem. And we could even ping 201 which is the client on the other end. So we've definitely got links across the, across the uh, Wi-Fi system here. And what we're going to do now is I'm just going to run a speed test program. So if you just hold on, I just set that up. OK, so let's go to speed test. And let's start transmitting. So now we're transmitting data across to the other side. Oh 
wouldn't be if I've actually started the program on the other side. So let me just start the program on the other side. There we go. Now we just start the program running on the other side. And uh, we've got a speed throughput here, 55, uh, 48, 52, um, etc, etc. So we definitely got data going through at quite a good lick, you know, up to 56. To be honest, I'm surprised we're even getting this, considering we're actually trying these units just a few metres apart in an office. It's not the ideal setup. The interference and the overload will be horrendous. But there we are. We have links between the two units. Absolute piece of doddle. No hassle.